You're not really supposed to just charge in and fight both of the big golems at once. These guys were procrastinating. I, I made a decision. Hey, welcome to Front Seat Gamer. This is the final part of our Seven Gates series. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen yet. We have just defeated two l elementals that kept switching between fire and lightning. Uh, Pitar Pihar threw a fireball at it. He wanted to quote unquote hack the <laughs> elementals. Um, then he died. <laughs> so. Uh, Heroically. Well, you know, come up and. Uh, we are, but we, we, in the end, won out, we, in the end, we won out, and we've all rested up, and we're gonna he's, find out what happened. He's been resuscitated, right. so yeah. Pitar is still with us. Um, and Pitar is now going to attempt to take control of at least one of these elementals. Let's see if it explodes in his face. Go for the check. Will the attempt? Uh, that's not gonna be enough to do it. I'll use an intellect. Okay. Worthy attempt. Still, still, same result. I'll Something use another up. intellect. Okay. Worthy attempt, what? Whoa! Oh, can you no. charm it? Can I, okay. In the spirit of my character, can I do a 50 50 heads or tails? You, uh, do, you decide what the negative outcome is. I will decide what the negative outcome is. So yeah. okay. heads, heads, I hack it. Tails. This is you just blasting it with arcane energy. Right? Yeah. Oh, this yeah. Is I'm just going the so intelligence. I, yeah. So I was fireballs at the inert rocks. So I, I started off. You see, like the arcane ruins in the air, and I'm, you know, it looks like I'm programming <laughs> things. <laughs> I'm like, no, not quite like that. I'll try and try again. There's matrixy scrolling text. Yep. Yep. It's all runestone text, though. Um, and eventually, I'm getting more and more frustrated, and I just start blasting it with, okay. with the purple arcane stuff. Okay, go ahead. Heads, heads for success. Tails for the opposite. All right, here success. we go. Here we go. This is it. Heads. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Let's see the coin. It's a heads. <laughs> so you blast it with energy, and it flails about for a second, like you're pinching its nerves like you're and firing electricity through its nerves and it sort of like sits upright it looks a bit broken like what, whatever you've done to it both to knock it out and to bring it back is sort a of lot like my ruined magic. it a bit um so it's kind of on it it's hit two of its heads are like lolling sideways and the other one's just spinning on the spot <laughs> um, uh, but it seems to like looking be looking towards you uh, and just sort of awaiting right. a command i give it one command protect me okay it it um, walks over to you and just like clumps, drops on top of you so you cannot be harmed by anything. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you have acquired <laughs> elemental armor. <laughs> elemental golem armor. Uh, I try to walk forward. Uh, it, it's way too heavy. It's just sitting on top of you at this point. <laughs> okay, I'll... Uh... You know what, Pitar? You really brought this upon yourself. <laughs> I'm having a hard time feeling anything for you right now, you know? Alright, I'll tell the golem to follow me. Okay. It's how so many commands... Well, I, how many commands can you're it... You're going to have to do science and find out. There's only one way to know. <clears throat> but it does seem to be following you very closely. Right. But I'll stick with one command for now. Okay. One command at a time. So I, follow me is the command right now. I am very pleased that Michelin worked with us in yep, that fight. Yep. yep. Uh, Mish was like, well... you. You fought very well yourselves. I was Thank you. impressed by your. I thought it was going to be at your gunners there. I think without me, you would definitely have been pancakes. But <laughs> uh, that's that's uh, that's what you know, life is all about, right? Not being killed. Uh, so uh, shall we head on up the path? I believe there's only one real path up from here. Head um, on. Just let's stay out of the way of the giant sun that mm -hmm. is burning sure. our path. The time taken Although to... I ha have an excellent protector now. I'm protecting me from the sun. <gasps> yes. That's true. Um, the time it's taken you to uh, make your... To repair and reactivate the golem has been enough time for everyone to sort of rest up and recover from their wounds. And 
regaining in mental faculties required for making excellent skill checks. Mm. So, yeah. However, which uh, Blaze has just used up. Uh, yes. Yep, which I've just used up all my abilities. Patar's just used all of his intelligence. He's got one charm left. I'm still charming. Mm-hmm. You've got a charm left. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you make your way up the mountain, uh, and Mish just grabs you once before you can step forward and points ahead, and there are three golems uh, that are all just standing oh, we've in a dealt line, with these before. We know blocking what to the path. <laughs> Fireball? <laughs> Let's um, not, I like the way you think. Let's <laughs> not hurl fireball. Hurl fireball, did you say? No, let's, you know what? I feel like Steve's probably got a good handle on this situation. What's the plan, Oi, Steve? I reckon I do. Uh, I want to look for alternate routes. Okay. So, give me a check to see, if, a spot check to see what you find. Fumble. You know, I think I'm going to have a look around as well. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Excellent attempt. Excellent attempt. Um, so you find that, uh, though you don't find a path, it's almost like the walls, uh, the, the mountains have been specifically placed so there is no path up. Um, mm. It You do find a couple of dead, long dead adventurers uh, lying on the, on the I path. Want, I want to see what they're carrying. You have a look through their gear. Um, one of them is actually carrying a lost star crucible uh, artifact, quite similar to the one that you have on your person. Um, the other one is carrying five gold pieces. Um, well, hey. so the dead have no use for gold. Mm-hmm. Wait, where did you get that lost star crucible from? Mm. From Michelin. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Um, she says, oh, I, I, I don't recognize that person really uh, nobody asks you anything why would you come <laughs> that in some way out of nowhere because that's one of my artifacts right there do you make these i do create them yes I, and you, you don't recognize this one i recognize that one it looks identical to all the other ones i create right, right, right. You see? so then you definitely made this one i definitely made this one who's this guy i do not know don't recognize his skeletal form i might have recognized him if he had flesh on his bones does he have a name tag on his armor no. There is no name tag on the <laughs> No one ever writes the name tags on there. Um, so we can grab it? Yep. You can grab the gold and the crucible. Yeah. I, I'll take the gold. I'll, I'll grab that crucible. Okay. Gold. Sounds good. I want five gold. Give me five gold. Oh, okay. Okay. Jeez. Uh, did you... Oh, no. What you, does that crucible that was, do? I, again. It just makes light. But if oh, you destroy okay. it, it does a like flashbang effect. Oh, sweet. So do, we... do you have change for 10 gold? I uh, don't. Okay, hold that for now. It's, okay. It's I'll... tough value. I'm going to just put a uh, die with, with okay. five on there. Sounds good. So okay. I'll, I'll just remember I've got one of that. Okay, so now that you have that stuff, um, what's what's the plan? It seems there's no other way up. These mm. golems are guarding the only path of the mountain. Hey, Steve. Are You're you... pretty good with dead bodies. Reckon I am. Did you get any go with ladders? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I see a lot of rig cages. I see a lot of. I see a lot of bones. We got some rope. We got. Oh yeah, we do have rope and things. Oh uh... yeah. What can you do? I'm not sure if I Make can a ladder it. is what I'm saying. I, I, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I just don't think it makes a lick of sense. <laughs> what I could do. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing, seeing, we got these bodies. Yeah. And there's guards over there. Uh-huh. Here. This body, it's just one body, right? Is that? Uh, they're two bodies. Oh. Two bodies. Okay, two cool. skeletal corpses. Okay. We can animate these here, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make them run in front of them guards there and create some kind of diversion. That's a good idea. Uh, that's saying that they're all gonna go after the bodies. Can't say they will. Can't say they won't. And on top of that, uh, I've got this night star thing that I could use to blind the guys, blind the the golems, in in case you know if, if everything turns to shit. Right, it probably right. will. I've got a bunch of weights. Don't, so. yeah, yeah. Don't particularly trust you anymore, but sure, yeah. <laughs> that's fine. Look, I'm, we've got. got no, a no, it's guy. fine. We can. This, is, this isn't the time. <laughs> Focus on the goal. Okay, so what's your plan? Oh, you just said it. 
Okay. <laughs> so that, that's, that's, that's the extent of your plan? Okay. We're just going to make a diversion. <laughs> make it a... Right, well, and, we, then we, no. and then we run... Yeah, we make a diversion. Okay. We go run through the... That part makes sense, too. Okay, okay, well, I guess it's worth a try, right? Well, I will feel great about this, but let's do it. Okay. Well, you felt great about the other one. Quick, quick question. <laughs> Does my golem yeah. run faster than I do? Uh, no. Okay. Slower. Faster than the skele- skeletons okay. do. Well, he's just going to have to follow him. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you come back to the, the canyon where just ahead of you, you can see the golems. Uh, what's the plan? Just send you guys just running in there and just running around in circles? Uh, I was thinking... Well, hang on. Can you communicate with the dead at all? Can... No. It's more like puppeteering them as opposed to... Darn at least it. with your skill level. You want to yeah. ask them... How did you die? Yeah, I, was, I want to figure out if they had any ideas. <laughs> well, this, this girl gave us this... Uh, <laughs> and sent us on this quest. I was, I was hoping to... Yeah. Uh... Get their attention and then kind of like run off. Okay. Have the, have the golems chase the dead. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I wanna, yeah, let's just get a check to see how good your, your necromantic commands are and how, how well your minions hold together under pressure. Um, and are you going to send your golem in as well? To um, like punch one of them and run off in another direction? I don't want to waste my golem like that. Like, <laughs> get a distraction. It gets I scary. mean, I almost died to getting him. Excellent, Excellent attempt. attempt. Okay, so it sounds like your golem isn't needed. The skeletons uh, run in there, uh-huh. they do a rude gesture with one of their remaining fingers, and then and they run off. Remaining. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we're just trying to wave. <laughs> it just came off as a rude gesture. Um, and the golems like immediately move to engage, and the skeletons run off down an, another path up to that point in the mountain, and you can use that opportunity to slip past. Excellent. If you're stealthy enough, give me a subterfuge check to see how well you get past... The, the guards while they're facing the other way. I'm not feeling very stealthy, but I'm feeling pretty quick. Oh. Overwhelming success. Beautiful. Finally. I, I need to shuffle that in, but I fumbled. Okay. <laughs> I don't help you <laughs> as With you fumble. Intent. Okay, your, your overwhelming success is perfect. You use the mirror cloak to like cloak the others. You took my... <laughs> you stole my mirror that's cloak? How, that's he how holds you overwhelming it was. <laughs> <laughs> I was it. so successful I, at it, I used it, your own cloak. You picked me up and carried me like a yep. giant cloak yep. shield. <laughs> Weights and all. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, so stealthy. Um, um, the golem starts lumbering behind you, and it looks like it might attract their attention. You just want to bring it anyway? I guess you're yeah, overwhelming. Yeah, just bring it in anyway. Okay, yeah. You're, thankfully, you had an overwhelming success, so you're able to like <laughs> put the cloak over its heads or something like that. So that is very know. overwhelming. That success, that's... that's like so defies normal. belief. Uh, you make your way up... I just can't believe we got past those golems. That was like... <laughs> it was overwhelming. Tar, I underestimated you. I know, look. You got us through. I know what I'm doing. I know I what I'm doing. I don't believe you, but you, you somehow you uh... looked through that. <laughs> so, you get through the canyon, and in front of you remains an old watchtower. In its day, it would have likely surveyed the entire land now it barely provides enough shelter from the elements uh, of both kinds I suppose uh, oh. the only thing that seems to have survived the ravages of time is a small table and a pair of chairs sitting in the middle of it it looks like it was once quite tall and you thought you saw it like from the top from the bottom of the mountain but up close it's just uh, ragged remains it's just is this broken a table stone. and chair like? table and ch- there's there's an old like worn down torn apart tapestry there is um there's a, a rusty dagger on the table. Um, there is. Uh, it looks like once upon a time there was like a suit of armor or something like that against the wall, but it's long since rusted away. Possibly even from before the war. I, I want to take a look at that tapestry. I love a good tapestry. Okay, so we must the tapestry of this tapestry. <laughs> um, you look at the tapestry, and when you like unfurl it a bit, when you like pull it out, it's actually quite an intricate scene. Um, there is an image of a king, a priest, and a mage uh, walking uh, towards an oasis in a desert, warmed by a blazing sun. Mm. Um, that's very interesting. While you're checking out the table, you notice that next to the dagger there's an inscription carved in it, Cut down he who is the greatest tyrant. Um, that's interesting. And Mish is sort of looking around, mm. sorting through stuff. I'm going to sit in the chair. Uh-huh. And pick up the dagger. Okay. Uh, it 
feels fairly weighty. It looks like even though it's quite rusted, it's still got good heft to it, okay. good weight. Um, but Neat. there doesn't seem to be anything else <laughs> in the room. Just the dagger? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you said this is a watchtower, right? Mm -hmm. Is there an upstairs? Uh, it looks like there was, but it's long since the pathway is clumped, like the entire upper part of the tower is crumbled. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. There's only like half, maybe half of the floor above left. I, I want to look around the room for anything else. Okay, give me a spot check for you and anyone else who wants to just have a look at it. It's a worthy attempt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fumble. Fumble. Um, none of you really find anything of The chair interest. I'm sitting in just... <laughs> <laughs> you, fall, you fall backwards. Yeah. Um, you bump your head. <laughs> No, it seems like there's nothing in this room, but this is definitely the top of the path. There's no nowhere further to go oh, than here. So this is like, okay, what did the, the carving in the table say? Cut down he who is the greatest tyrant. Cut down he who is the greatest tyrant. Uh, let me look at what, what was the tapestry of? Uh, it's a, there is an image of a king, a priest, and a mage walking towards an oasis in a desert, warmed by a blazing sun. Uh, so my, this probably won't do anything, but I'm going to take the dagger and stab the, the king in the tapestry. <laughs> okay. Um, you, so you pull out the dagger and you slash at the king. Yeah. Um, a voice booms through the tower for a second. Wrong! Oh no! Um, <laughs> I didn't even think that was going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the mage! The mage is the greatest tyrant! <laughs> I'm uh, a mage and I'm a perfectly nice guy. Um, there is this crashing boom in the distance and lightning begins to strike the around the tower in a right. circle. Uh, yeah. Can you give me a spot oh, check quickly? Of course it's a mage. What was I? Madness. <laughs> but I also didn't think that that was a puzzle. I was just like, I'm um, doing something you stupid. You know, you like look up at the lightning, lightning and you notice that there's actually like a gap in the clouds where like all the clouds are around like above the tower but not like directly upwards. Yeah, we're in the eye of the storm. But the and the lightning gets stronger and stronger and starts to shake the stone. Right, so what, what are we doing? Um, I we're checking for something. I want to grab the dagger out of your hands. I was like, no. Stab the mage. <laughs> um, you uh, slash at the mage, and an echoing voice booms out. Wrong again. No! <laughs> it's the sun. <laughs> Um, so oh, lightning starts to burst you know out. I'm gonna just slash away at everything on the steps. <laughs> no, 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 no! Are you gonna start with the sun? Or at least? Yes. Okay, you slash. I start with the sun, sun and then just run across everything. <laughs> uh, as you slash at the sun, you hear the booming voice, correct. And, um. A try on error. <laughs> and, uh, the chairs, uh, well, and then the whole room, like, goes black. Completely black. Um, and you're in pitch darkness, and you can't see anything around. Do we you. hear anything? Oh, you don't I, see I will use my uh, what is that thing called? Night sun. A lost star crucible. Yep, I'll use yep. that to illuminate the area. Um, so you, it lights up, and you see that you are standing on a flickering, like it looks like a a beautifully woven carpet with intricate patterns, and the patterns shift and move, and that carpet is all there is for infinity in every direction. <laughs> It's and um, everything else is still completely black. You have lit up nothing else above you. I shoot a fireball into the distance to see if it lights up anything at all. Um, it, like straight along, so it like the glow. Uh, you can see the ground. It seems to. Uh, so, so what? Describe to me how you cast fireball out of interest. Like what does oh, that look like? To it's you? it's oh. just it's a lot like how I healed um, Lynn earlier, where I hold up my hand and. Uh, Fireball, little mm -hmm. sun appears in it, and then instead of turning that into a pill, yeah. I fire that right, out. Right. And do, you, do you say anything while you do this? Um, or do you just... I just, uh, yeah, I scream fireball. Okay, so <laughs> you <laughs> conjure <laughs> a fireball in your <laughs> hand. <laughs> Call it. Um, so you conjure a fireball in your yeah. hand and let it loose and shout fireball, and another fireball appears next to you and just fires off in a different direction. Um, so two fireballs <laughs> appeared. Um, you see that you these two are next to you I as think this is, is a, Mish. A portal type situation. Um, I say money. Um, gold rains 
from yeah. the sky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but it passes straight through you when oh, you attempt to grab it. No. <laughs> I know what this is. It's an illusion. <laughs> we need water. Uh, water starts to pour <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, I'm not wet because it's not real. But the carpet starts to sort of fade away, revealing the stonework of the tower where it was before. Um, but, I start spitting on the ground. Um, it reforms behind you, but you do see the stonework of the like broken stonework of the tower as mm-hmm. you do so. Although it doesn't appear so broken anymore. Where are we? Um, as you say, where are we? Uh, a voice echoes. Um, you are nowhere at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I am the magical voice of the uh, automated spirit that guards this tower. Oh, wow. Be quite helpful. Can you show us the way out? Uh, there is no way out until you've made your way in. Can you show us the way in? I can do that. <laughs> Um, the carpet beneath oh, easy. you. This is just like, uh, yeah, this is easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got famous <laughs> last <laughs> um, There is, the carpet beneath you sort of shifts to a reddish color and then walls spring up all around you. In front of you, a, a ornate desk covered in papers and quills appear. There's a beautiful chandelier above you. Um, the room is simple but ornate and uh, there is a sign on the table that says, uh, Please wait. And are, there any, are there any seats? There are in seats. Front of there the are some very comfortable. I, uh, sit, I sit down and wait. Okay. Oh, so is this a waiting room? <laughs> this appears to be an arcane waiting room. Yes. I'm, I'm sitting in one of the seats. <laughs> is the doctor in? <laughs> there are no medical professionals in this facility. Who owns this room? The Mage King owns all. Are we waiting to see the Mage King? Would you like to see the Mage King? Oh, when, when can we get a... Uh, when, when's the next available appointment? Uh, I have nothing on his schedule at the moment. Uh, would you like me to contact him now? Yeah, Is he that busy? Would be great. That would be great. <laughs> he appears to have zero waiting applicants other than you. What's he doing? How's that guy doing? <laughs> what are his likes and dislikes? <laughs> I want to find some stuff out. <laughs> He is currently in the oculary. Uh, his likes and dislikes are unknown to me. Apologies. Mish sort of looks over at you guys. Uh, what, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Mish, what do you want to do? Uh, well, I'm a little bit uncomfortable about this place. A bit too much magic. Take a seat. How about we, how about we just get out, get out of here? I feel like this sort of, the amount of magical power going on here is something that we can't really take on. All right, I'll, uh... We need to take care of that Mage King, though. Yeah. We have a quest. Um, we need to find out what's happening with the Thorned people. So... You hear a voice again. Would you like me to request an audience with him now? Yes. Okay. Please wait. Just wait. This is, this is going to take forever. <laughs> Hey Steve, how you going? Is there, is, is there like elevated music? There is no elevator no. Mu- music. There is a door you didn't notice before, but do oh. you notice something? You know what, I'm going to check out the desk first. Okay. I'm going to rifle through there and get really up in the business of the Give desk. Give me an, an intelligence check to... Fumble. Uh, you don't find anything of interest. Um, it's all written in, lang- in weird runes. They look like they're mostly like magical scrolls right. that are used to do something. You could attempt to use one, but... Who knows where what it would do? I want to look at the scroll. Hmm? Magic voice. Uh, yes. What's behind that door over there? Uh, that is the uh, path to the the mage king. Uh, but I do not recommend entering it without his permission. Why not? Uh, I do not know the answer to that question. I have been instructed to inform you that you, we should not send uh, visitors through that way. Like bloody useless you are. <laughs> how long? How long do you? How long do you expect this mage king is going to take to get to to see us? Time is an illusion, and in this waiting room, That's it great. is doubly so. That's great. Um, Bullocks are that. I want to. I want to have a look at the scrolls. Okay, you have, hey, go give me an intelligence check. I'm doing I it vigorously, though. I want to vigorously rifle through those scrolls. That's a worthy attempt. <laughs> you find one that might be a teleport scroll. Uh, 
it's already got the destination written on it, but you can't tell what that is. Hmm. Steve, can you read this? Uh, give me an intelligence check to see if you can, can work it out. Or you can give it a go. You, you've seen magic stuff before. You might know what's going on. I mean, I reckon my your grandma miniature is reading a scroll. Of things. Let's see. Overwhelming success. Oh. Okay, nice. so yeah, you've you've actually this is very similar to the the necromantic runes that your your grandpappy used to go on about, I suppose. <laughs> well, you've seen these before. Um, this looks like. Where do you come from, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Hard to tell. It oh, looks... little village. <laughs> okay, sure. I'm not little... special. Um, it looks like this is a teleport a huge scroll, <laughs> uh, and it says something about teleporting to the uh, relic room. Oh, that sounds good. I like relic that. We... What'd you say? Uh, he, he was in the oculary. That's oh, where he was. Okay. Um, hey, magical voice. Yes? What's the deal with the relic room? The relic room houses many valuable magical artifacts, many dangerous magical artifacts, and many beautiful magical artifacts mm-hmm. that the Mage King has encountered and collected. What, like women artifacts? Not <laughs> like women artifacts. <laughs> <laughs> You um, will need, I don't know what that is. Len, Len tugs at his collar. <laughs> oh, oh, it just got warm in here. I don't know what you're insinuating by that. It's been a long time on the road. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sure you're perfectly capable of looking after yourself, you, you spent a lot of time around the dead, huh? No, <laughs> <Are> we? <laughs> I think we should. I feel like I want to use that scroll. Um... Wait, you, you guys, there is a door. There's a door. Ah, oh, shut the door. We can go through it later. <laughs> is there a so return it... scroll for the um, reliquary? You, if you rifle through, you find uh, another teleport scroll, but this is to a location with a name you don't understand. So you can bring that one with you, but there's no telling. Okay, okay. is, there, is there anything else in the room worth, like, it Looking doesn't out. look like it. There is like a nice pot plant, but it seems to be illusion- illusionary. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab all of the scrolls, even the ones I don't okay. understand. Oh, good idea, actually. That's a good <laughs> idea. Um, do you hear the voice? Please leave the scrolls where you find them. Well, the Mage King can come down and tell us that himself. The Mage King is currently indisposed, but he, he will pooping? be with you shortly. <laughs> He's pooping. He's pooping. <laughs> He's on a throne somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use the scroll! Alright, alright. All right. Okay. Yep. You use the scroll. Um, you feel your... Uh, this is actually a similar feeling to when he tugs you about, except this is oh, sort oh, of... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> then tugs in his collar oh, again. Yeah. <laughs> With... Okay. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> now we do. Uh, like the floor drops under, uh, away from you for a second, and then when you land again, you are somewhere completely different. You're in uh, a small chamber with uh, a few seats, and there are a few very old-looking uh, weapons around you. None of them appear to be magical. All of them are sort of like quite weathered, but they look to be from ancient civilizations. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a l- opening in front of you, and inside there is a large chamber where there are all sorts of artifacts. Mm-hmm. Um, some stand out to you more than others. Like uh, there is a a orb in, near the middle of the room with a flickering flame inside it. On the on the far wall, you can see a gigantic battle axe, which looks bigger than anyone would reasonably be able to carry. Which is mm. uh, looks like the blade is frozen. Uh, there's ice going up the handle. Oh, this doesn't such good stuff. Um, um, oh, women. This <laughs> feels like there's probably Zero magical women. protection around it, huh? I feel a little nervous about going in that room. Hey, Steve! Come to that room! <laughs> I'm sitting in a trend there. Uh, uh, I, I want to look around to make sure that if, if there are any obvious traps, or even less obvious traps. Uh, like, go ahead and give me an intelligence check and see what you... Excellent attempt. Oh, of course. Oh, a failure. Uh-oh. Worthy attempt. There's definitely something off about that uh, fiery orb. It seems to be active while everything else in here seems to be mm. sort of suppressed. Okay. I have an idea. It's risky. Yeah? But I want I might use my mirror cloak and try and sneak into that room. That mirror cloak is good, but it's not that good. It's pretty cool. It's not going <laughs> to protect you from... Yeah, but it's neat. <laughs> uh, all right. It's neato burrito. You know what? 
Do it. Okay. I'm going to hold the mirror cloak in front of me yep. <laughs> and try and sneak into the room. So as soon as you take a few steps into the room, uh, you burst into flame. <laughs> <laughs> it's excruciatingly painful. You take, you take four damage. Oh, man. Um, what are you going to do now? How's that mirror cloak working out for Three, you? <laughs> four. Um, I back out of the room. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess you went on fire. You're fine. You're back to full health. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I would like to send my golem through. Hang on. Um, your golem walks into the room and just stands there. He's fine. Oh, actually, no, your golem can't come with you. I'm sorry. What? It couldn't fit into the tower in the first place. What? <laughs> it's waiting outside. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've Guys, so much work for that golem. Is it possible that this is all an illusion? An illusion that is broken by water. <laughs> it's in the Where, are you, where, where are you getting or... this water idea from? Did we, did we hear something earlier? My illusion scroll earlier had the only way the illusion could be damaged was from water. Interesting. So, who's got some water? Um, you all have water okay. skins. Okay. I need to pee. Hey. <laughs> Pitar, yeah. <laughs> why don't you go puh, pee, pee, why don't you go pee in there? <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you go take a little whiz? Well, hold on, don't we all have water skins? With Just water? hang on, you know what? I think... I think maybe we shouldn't waste the drinkable water. <laughs> I mean, that is a good argument. Yeah. Um, I reckon it's disrespectful to piss in a man's treasure room. <laughs> How do we know it's a treasure room? We know the Mage King is indisposed. We don't know where. There, um, Nish points to a sign on the wall that says treasure room. Um, mm. but <laughs> I feel like yeah. this definitely is uh, an illusion. Like, if there's a big sign I'm gonna, I wanna, room. I want to try and squirt a little bit of water from my water skin yeah. towards the orb. Towards the orb. Um, it doesn't quite reach towards the orb. It doesn't really make it much Oh, hold difference. on a minute. Are you expecting me to pee that far? <laughs> I just run and pee. Just that. start peeing and run in. You'll be fine. I haven't drunk I, that much water. Give me all your water skin. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> you get away. Um, oh my god. Okay, so there's a door into this treasure room. He burst into flame as soon as he entered it. Yep. I would like to pee through the fresh threshold of the door. It doesn't seem to make any difference. It makes, it a, difference. Also, it makes a difference to me. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's so relieved. Nish is disgusted by it. <laughs> so there's no, there's no reaction from the water? No. Okay. I don't think this is an illusion. There's some crazy stuff going on with that orb. Um, <laughs> I burst into flames when I'm near it. But I'm fine when I come out. Maybe I just gotta run in. I'm gonna take a step in. Avoiding okay. the pee that I just peed on the floor. <laughs> you take your step in. Yeah. You burst into flames. Let's take a step you out. 40, okay, you're fine again. It's fine. It was excruciatingly painful for a second, but it's. I'm used to, to it. It seems to always. I'm constantly <laughs> catching fire. <laughs> this is like super painful. This uh, is not. I'm not I'm, no usual fire. I'm confounded, guys. I don't know what to do. Okay. Okay. Uh, Niche was it? Mm-hmm. That's my name. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on this situation? Uh, I haven't seen anything like it before, and I, judging by how much you were screaming, like little girls, when you walked in there, I don't want to mm. go in there. Mm. Also, just, just a side thing, are you, uh, th this is a interesting place that you've never visited before, aren't you happy that you came with us? I'm starting to regret <coughs> it slightly, <laughs> the, 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 um, the fact that we're now trapped in this small room. Ah, we've got lots of scrolls, we're, we're fine. Right, so... <laughs> It's just a small room with a door to a larger treasure room. Yes. There there's, is nothing... a door, there's a door on the far side of the other treasure room. Where does that lead to? Uh, it looks like it goes upstairs. <sighs> Limber up. Okay. <laughs> and you say there's an axe that looks way too big and it's got a frozen head. Yes. <laughs> Who's the strongest one of us? You are. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> right. Probably the guy Okay. Right. <laughs> if I die... Don't do anything weird to my body. Can, can I try? One, but you can try and revive. Can I try one thing? Before. Okay, go for it. I'd like to shoot a fireball at the. Oh, this sounds bad. Fireball. <laughs> oh, this sounds okay, bad. Uh, go for it. Intelligence check to see what you think. That's a terrible idea. I mean, yes, to go for it. Utter failure. <laughs> <laughs> no. So the orb um, 
the fireball strikes strikes the orb, and yep. the orb just sort of absorbs it, and then suddenly all of you feel like you're on fire. <laughs> 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 the orb expands its area of influence oh expands outwards. I just made it better. You all take four damage. Oh, um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and dash into that room and I grab that frozen my axe. Thing. Okay, so you're invisible. Uh, yes. So you fade from sight. Still on fire? You're still on fire. Steve <laughs> just <laughs> disintegrated <laughs> Steve! <laughs> oh god, oh, I'm all right! It's just a burning humanoid shape! Why do you keep letting me do these <laughs> things? things? <laughs> um, so it's... You've all taken four damage? I've taken okay, four damage. It's your turn to act. I, I'm going to run... Then... I'm, I'm currently on fire, I'm assuming. <laughs> yes. I want to dash into that room. And grab the frozen axe and see if I can swing it at the big fiery orb. Okay, give me a vigor check to okay. see if you can like even pull her off the wall. Fumble. Uh, I'm gonna use is... another vigor check. Okay, go for it. Utter failure! Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my no. god! You gonna use another use vigor check? I'm gonna use another vigor check. Overwhelming success. Okay. I, Holy I feel like I'm, I, I I reach for the axe. I, I I miss. I, I jump and grab it, and my hands catch on fire, and then I manage to pull it off of the wall, and I swing it at the orb. What happens? Uh, you haven't got to the orb. You've I'm just not even near the, the orb. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just orb. holding the axe. It's Steve's turn. What's he going to do? Holy shit. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Steve is All invisible and on fire <laughs> and confounded. <laughs> you could, you could maybe toss him the orb or something like that, or. Hot, hot or potato. <laughs> Steve, do something on fire. <laughs> Steve is frozen. <laughs> with with choice here. I'm I'm just gonna fucking make a dash for the door. Okay. Oh no, uh, Steve! <laughs> you have betrayed me. Do <laughs> a check to see how far you can get. What the attempt. attempt? Yeah, you get a fair way to the door. You run past the guy who's just holding the giant axe. <laughs> uh, all of you take another four damage as the fire One, continues to emulate two, you. Oh. Three. Four. Your life trigger cards probably won't do anything. Yeah, my, my life trigger card doesn't do anything. Um, oh, Next turn. Uh, okay. Uh, Patar. All right, I run at the orb and pick it up. Okay. Uh, it is boiling hot to the touch, as if someone just shot a fireball at it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm used to heat. Take, <laughs> I'm used you, to you it. take two damage from holding the thing, I'm used but to you it. can now uh, do something with it. Now I that you throw can. it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Lynn, it's your turn. would you like to make a figure check? I want to swing the axe at the orb that's hurry, being hurled at me. Okay, uh, you might want to reshuffle your hearts oh back in. <laughs> Screw you! This is what? I'm just Screw saving you! It here. <laughs> just You're saving holding it. a fucking ball You've of fire at me! You've one thing that can. Stop it! We don't know that. <laughs> I'm just guessing. I'm banking at this. on it because otherwise I'm gonna die. Here. We're all dead. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Fumble. Oh, Do you want to use I'm going to use my last vigor. Oh, oh this is so God. bad. Worthy attempt. Okay. You strike the orb, and although it, it cracks and the fire bursts out and the burning sensation lessens. <laughs> lessens. <laughs> um, you strike the orb and it just goes bouncing off and it goes down the spiral staircase okay. in the next room and just starts spinning down oh um, and the fire dissipates and all of you are back to full life except for you because you took two damage from touching the burning orb in front of the orb when it was at its hottest. Sweet. Um, downstairs you hear screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I suggest we run for the door. <laughs> I, w- I want to grab. Steve is is the axe uh, light enough to carry? Uh, no, it is not. You could drag it. Okay. You I love weights drag- though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. You can't just casually carry it, but you could right. drag it with you. Yeah, I, but I love uh, how heavy that. I'm making a suggestion. Okay. Like, uh, if you lose all the weight, uh-huh. you can probably carry that axe completely fine. Right. Yeah, that's off the table though. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think you forget how much I love weights. I love them! I love weights! 
<laughs> okay, so you want to carry the gigantic X with you up the stairs? Is there anything else? Is there anything in the room that looks like it could make me more, more capable of carrying that axe? It doesn't look like it. It looks like most of the things in the room are historical artifacts or just particularly beautiful pieces of uh, pottery or. There's no gloves work. around. No, uh, no magical no, lifting gloves. No, no. no. Is there rings or any sort of spiderkin looking stuff that I might be interested uh, there in? There is old spiderkin armor from from way back mm. when. I want to learn how to carry this axe, so I'm going to drag it with me, because okay. it's cool, literally. Are you, you going to go up the, up the stairs? I mean... No, I want to go down the stairs and find out who was screaming. Okay. Well, into the fiery inferno. Well, we don't know that. There was a, there was a ball there, but I mean... If, I'm, I'm pretty hey, sure... If the mage down there king is down there, if the mage the king is has down there... stopped. Like, it stopped... Shortly after it started. Yeah, because right. they're dead. Or because they deactivated it. Did, because it's the Mage King. Did the what screaming up? sound like a Mage King scream? Uh, it sounded manly and gruff. Uh, yes. Maybe it is the Mage King. Uh, I don't know if this is a great start to negotiations. <laughs> I'm carrying a big axe, so I well, think I have the edge as far as negotiations go. Hold on, what happened? Because you, Steve ran to the door. I'm, I'm running towards the door, yeah. Um, okay, so you've made it to the door now. Yeah. And you saw the orb roll past you and down the stairs. Yeah. Okay, so the door spirals down? Mm-hmm. Oh, right, okay. All right, how about we go upstairs like, first? Yeah, it yeah. goes down and up. Yeah, so. oh, right, I see. I'm, I'm Let's go upstairs. Up. We know there's something downstairs. Yeah. We know there's mm-hmm. someone downstairs. We know there's a fiery orb and probably a dead, but charred corpse down there. I'm going to drag the axe upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be a reason for this axe. There, no one keeps a magical cold axe if it's way too big. Um, so you climb up the stairs, and eventually they emerge in the edge of a large, uh, large uh, tower top. Mm-hmm. You appear to have reached the top of the tower. Um, cool. Giant stone pillars are capped by a colossal stone spire. In every direction, you can see the mountain ranges, and in the distance, the city of Mightstone. It looks like the tower is the same place where that broken down tower mm, was. Right. It's just that it was either an illusion, or this is an illusion, or some combination of the two, perhaps. Hey, well, we peed on the ground, so I'm pretty sure this is not an illusion. Uh, I say we. Well, one word of You hope. did. You peed on the ground. Um, in the center of the room is an unusual-looking device, a series of concentric circles that look like they can be rotated. And at their center is a unusual looking blade, um, mm. like a sort of twisting, spinning blade. And standing over top of him is a man in long robes. And he looks up as he sees you enter, his, his um, well trimmed beard and tied back hair um, uh, moving in the wind that starts to spin around the tower. Mm. As he says, Why have you come to my tower? We're tourists. <laughs> Give me a charm check. <laughs> Overwhelming success. <laughs> Can you give us the tour? We heard there was a great tour. I brought my axe for the tour. I don't even know. I don't even. The tower is currently closed to visitors. I don't know how you got up here, but you are not welcome. The, the, door, guy, the front door was open. The I, guy downstairs let us in. Yeah. I find that very unlikely, as he is simply an extension of me. Interesting. Then you let us in. I did pretty, not. I'm <laughs> pretty sure you let us in. I think you he, let us in. He looks <laughs> Why'd you let us visibly in? <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> hey, do you like weights? <laughs> oh my god. Loved your waiting room that time. <laughs> You hear a uh, dull sort of thud, 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 um, but uh, you're distracted from it when he conjures uh, elements in his hand, oh, like shit. acid in one hand and ice in the other, and says, I strongly recommend you leave over the edge if it pleases you. No, wait just a second. <laughs> there. Hey, this is Me. Steve. <laughs> this is Steve, by the way. Good guy, Steve. My, my name's Steve. I'm just a normal necromancer. <laughs> From Wilson <Country> Shire. Necromancer. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up on a farm. Body farm. Body farm. Spent me life in a crypt. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, 
we ain't going nowhere till we get some answers. What do you want answers to, might I ask? Well, we was having words with that, uh, Thornside. Thornside, yeah. yes. With the uh, that thorny lady down in the uh, the citadel there. She wants to know what that sun's all about. Ah, uh, she hasn't figured it out after all this time. <clears throat> no, well, she's a bit perplexed. Well, I'm. The sun is simply. Wait, what, why am I even telling? You? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, forget about that. Tell us. Go, keep going. We're totally listening. Give me a charm check to see if you can convince oh, the mage shuffle king these that you need to... <laughs> that he needs to keep telling us about the sun. Okay. Okay, that seems adequately shuffled. Or the attempt. He he doesn't look... He, he sort of looks at you and is like, I do not need to give you any answers. I shall simply lock you up in the prison with the rest of what's left of our uh, people. Sir, Sir Mage King, if I may. Um, while you're talking, he starts <laughs> spitting the dial in front of him. <laughs> yes, don't throw a fireball. But he's watching you <laughs> intently. Don't throw a fireball. Sir, <laughs> Sir Mage King, I, I admit we are not tourists. <laughs> really, I was quite convinced for a moment. <laughs> now. However, I myself am a mage, and I've come here to kneel before you, and I take a knee before him, and say, will you, I would be honoured to, uh... Is it even broken? <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe he is. <laughs> That's my character's secret goal for him. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> damn it. Uh, I would be honoured if you were to allow me to be your apprentice. I command reality itself. This world is moves at my whim, and you think you have something to offer Cl me? Clearly, you are the greatest, and I am just a humble servant and student. I doubt that you have the fortitude required to fulfill even a fraction of what I require. Well, what do you servants. require? I got a lot of vigor. Mm. It's pretty close to fortitude. <laughs> These two here, they obsess me. They have set me the too. Tower. They have set me too. Toss them from the tower. Eliminate them. <laughs> no. May hold on there. Uh, hang on. I like, cast just, a fireball just, in my hand. I'm just gonna <laughs> you guys. Someone peed in your treasure room earlier. <laughs> <I> th <laughs> it wasn't me. I uh, throw a fireball in the and it goes just past his head. Ooh, it's warm. I have no need of a terrible shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> oh, no. Um... <clears throat> we all stand in silence, <laughs> staring each other down. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, do you remember chance. my healing spell? Yes. I'm going to, because it looks quite a deadly spell, mm -hmm. I'm gonna use my healing spell, and I want to cast it on these guys. Oh no! You're making me swallow fire! Yeah, exactly. Give me a charm check to see how convincingly you can... And you two as well. So I should, I should probably describe again... I should probably describe again what that is. It's it's just like a normal fireball in my hand, but I... I uh, condense, condense, it a condense it down into a small little glowing orb, which I then shove into their mouths. Okay, you guys give me a charm check to see how well you die, and you give me a... Fumble, lose a charm... Or the attempt. Overwhelming success. The fumble. Is it? I'm using. I'm using charm. Yes. Right? I yes. ham it up a I'll bit. I'll use another charm. And <laughs> you know, I. Excellent. It's... Excellent attempt. Excellent attempt. He's totally. Steve is amazingly convincing. <laughs> I've seen a lot of death. He. He. Okay. So he removed right. the body. For, the blood from his body using. <laughs> um, the mage king looks. Sort of go, eyes go wide for a second, and he's like, "That was quite skillful." Uh, I am impressed. Maybe you do have use for me after all. Uh, well, just, uh, I don't really want them cluttering up my tower. Just shove them off the edge, would you? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, Or disintegrate I'll... them, as you wish. <laughs> I assume you know how to disintegrate. Oh, of course I do. <laughs> of course. What well, maids wouldn't. Um... <laughs> 
Uh, I'll, I'll look over the edge to see if I see any uh, uh, ledges that I can okay. like, aim them for. You look over the edge, yeah. and the now while you when you look over the edge, the thud thud becomes much louder because you notice that your golem is crawling up the side of the tower, <laughs> <laughs> coming to follow you. So I see the golem. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna drag these guys to the edge. <laughs> You guys, I'm, I'm still I'm holding on to that axe. I want you to know. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not saying to be dead, but I'm, I'm, I'm holding on to that axe with both arms, dragging right. it behind me. I don't know how I can't. Men- I don't know if I can mentally tell the golem to catch them. No, all it's got its only command is to follow. Um. <laughs> You know what? They, they can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, just drag them. I'll drag them to the edge. Okay, your friend is dragging you towards okay. the edge of a building. You're not I'm, aware of any golem over I'm, the edge. I'm holding on to my double, the my giant axe thing. Okay, um, so are you going to push them off? I'm going to, as carefully <laughs> as I can, but still looking like I don't care, <laughs> push them off towards the golem, and I'm hoping that they grab onto the golem. <laughs> <laughs> I will push uh, Len out first. Okay. <laughs> oh, we shouldn't have that. I am falling, and I uh, swing my axe towards the towards the goal, hoping it lodges into it. Oh, Give me a bigger check to see uh, how well you succeed. <laughs> you may have just killed me. You got that right. <laughs> you. You were fully conscious the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> you could have stopped me at any point. <laughs> you, let this, you let this happen. I shout out as you fall. You let this happen. <laughs> uh, overwhelming success. Yes. Oh my god. So um, your the axe catches on the golem, and it, you sort of flip around the golem mm-hmm. and like come back up. The momentum sort of carrying you back. I am, I am riding the golem, holding my axe with one hand. Bro, I'm, I'm full of might because of the overwhelming success. And then I realize how heavy the axe is, and I love it. And it's, <laughs> I just let it dangle because I love weights. <laughs> uh, you're next to go over the edge. I'm holding out the axe in case you need to grab onto anything. Yeah, look, I think you can probably catch now that you're. I, my hands point. are busy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. Like, I... dude. Like, I am pushing you. you. Like, you don't have to let this happen. I'm not forcing <laughs> nature. I'm just slowly pushing you over. Oh man, it's all the pressure's on. Come on, Steve. You can do it. Or, I mean, it's possible. It's statistically possible for you to do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let it happen. I, yeah. I'll go over the edge. Uh, my. Oh no, that's only... <clears throat> oh, my pulling ability. Uh-huh. My necrotic arms. Oh, yes. Can I use them? You can to... give it a go, yeah. While, right. while falling and pretending to be dead, it might be a bit tricky, but you can probably well, manage pre- it. He only needs to pretend to be dead past the lip yeah, of the yeah. thing. And then... Yeah. All right, I'll do that. And you're going to try to catch me. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> oh, 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 this is amazing. <laughs> so, so you, for listeners, this actually happened. Like, we're not just saying it was overwhelming success. We all pulled overwhelming success. Um, <laughs> holy shit! Um, so, so you, you <laughs> like land? You hand grab the ghostly hand, like grabs onto the ledge. Yep. And you slowly lower yourself down <clears throat> to the golem. The two of you just sort of standing on the golem we're, as it rides up. We're riding it up the tower. <laughs> I'm wielding my giant axe above my head, going yeah. <laughs> Um, Not so that, too loud, uh, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> the Mage King turns away from the spectacle of you murdering your friends and turns back to the device in front of him. I'm just going to watch what he's doing. It. Um, he turns it and there is a sort of a deep growling sound as he does and you see the sun um, start to scorch the ground underneath it, the, mm. the artificial sun. Um, and as he turns it, the sun sort of turns and starts moving towards Mightstone. And he <gasps> says, well, if my daughter has started sending people to kill me, oh, shit. then perhaps it's time to imprison the thorns with the rest of the mortal kind. So um, we, gotta, we gotta kill that guy, I think. 
meanwhile, Mish is just like watching from, uh, <laughs> yeah, from she's, behind you. She's yeah. just, oh, she's, yeah. she's just been didn't... observing this whole time. <laughs> That's... She didn't piss him off, so he didn't specifically ask her to be killed, apparently. <laughs> but she's just observing. Um, this is a tricky situation. I, I think we should ride up. Yeah, the, the thudding the of the golem is getting louder. Oh, so he'll, he'll take notice eventually. All right. Yeah, uh, but I'm, currently the sun is, turn, is turned towards. So I want to... I, wanna, I, I wanna think we got to fight him. I just want to get as much information out of him. Mm-hmm. So I want to ask him, because uh, the... Um, what's her name? The, the queen said that he created these thorns. So I will ask him, my lord... Mm-hmm. And I go um, on one knee again. <laughs> That's not necessary, but uh, it's fine. I don't mind. My lord, uh, I've heard that you were the creator of these thorns. He, uh, I, in a way, yes. It was not my intent. It was a fey enchantment in my collection. And I experimented on it. And then one day, my foolish daughter played around in the relic room and cut herself on the thorn. Uh, I like that. Before I knew what had happened, she had escaped from the tower, going mad with the pain, and a half the servants in my tower were infected. Uh, I, I banished them, uh, but it was too late. So and, is there a cure? Uh, if there is, it's lost to time. I lost It's old, old fey magic, and the fey have not been seen for centuries. All my searching and stuff, no trace of them. Mm. So, what's with the sun? Ah, the sun. I assumed you would, would have been aware of what its purpose was. It is not so much a sun as it appears, but a prison. I <clears throat> realized that this world was doomed. The thorn curse could not be stopped, no matter how hard I tried. So, I took all of the mortal kind that had survived and I burnt away their flesh and the soul flare, as I call it, from the sun that scorches will scorch away their flesh and just gather up their soul form. In time, I hope and to... And that's saving them? In time, I hope to purge this world, wipe, wipe it clean and, how are you, and how bring are you? mankind back, at least in soul form, so they can wander the land once more. And uh, how are you doing with that quest? Uh, mankind seems... Uh, Resilient. It seems like it just doesn't want to get burnt by the sun. So <laughs> yeah, I am yeah. taking steps for more dramatic, drastic measures, building up uh, agents that I can use to trick people into the light, so to speak. Interesting. Interesting. We're, we we ride over the wall. On the <laughs> yes, it's been a long point, a long conversation. At this point, the like, golden edges above the wall. Choke up my axe. <laughs> and the mage king turns about around and says, "What?" And I say, BETRAYAL! Yeah. And I, I, I slowly, <laughs> I slowly drag my axe towards him, and I try and swing at him. Uh, and I shout, FIREBALL! <laughs> uh, okay, a combat begins, yes. I guess. Um, yeah, that guy seems like bad news. Yeah. Well, I think he, he, he's got, I guess he thinks they're good intentions. No. <laughs> he's gotta die! <laughs> Okay, so, first up, first in the combat round, we have just quick. Hatar, followed by Steve, followed by Len, followed by Mish, followed by the Mage King himself. Ha so, you guys ambush! Have, you guys have the jump on him, he was not ready for you to ride up on a golem. <laughs> When does the golem... Uh, it will move <clears throat> after the person controlling it, okay. which will be Pitar. Yeah, I use the word control lightly. <laughs> uh, the Mage King turns to you and says, This will be your downfall. You should have just died properly. Um, and again, he like the elements uh, <clears throat> light up in his hands. He seems to be wielding as both acid and flame in one hand and lightning and ice in the other. I start 
passing the scrolls out <laughs> that I picked up earlier to the rest of the party okay. in case they want to just start reading stuff off. I'm afraid both of your hands are full at the moment. Oh, so you all right, I am carrying the axe. I say, I say reach into my coat! <laughs> uh, Pitar, it it's your move. I'm first, uh, yep. so where, where are we? Oh yes, we should place you on the battlefield. So the Mage King is right in the very center. and I just rode up on this wall. Um, but at the very entrance, we have Mish. She is over here. This is where the stairway you get oh, yeah. well, over here. The stairway, actually, here. here. The Whoa. stairways you get, see where you came up on. Um, and the two of you on the golem came up from the edge here. Mm -hmm. And you are right by the Mage King. I mean, uh, Len is right by the. No, Pitar is right by the Mage King, where he was discussing destroying the world with him. Okay, Pitar, what's your first move? Um, okay, so I am going to use Fate Breaker. Mm -hmm. Deal four damage to a foe in range one. Okay, to um, the Mage King. Yep. Takes four and damage. then uh, enchantment. I gain an enchantment, which means I can change the uh, result of a coin flip nice. in the future, which is quite good. Okay. Um, and Fate Breaker is. How should that look? Um, right. uh, Fate Breaker is going to be a simple flamethrower. Okay, from your hand? From my hand. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, it's worth noting that surrounding you on every side is a chasm. Right. Um, if you succeed on a Vigor check, you'll be able to catch yourself before mm. you fall. And if you fail, you will probably fall to your deaths. <clears throat> um, it's a long way down. Is my golem there? Uh, yeah. Yes, he. I'll, this can represent the golem. He will take his turn after yours. So cool. After mine. Yep. All um, right. Cool. So, are you going to move or are you going to stay right um, there? I might as well just stay right there. Like I have a feeling he can get me no matter what. Okay. Range I'm in. Uh, next, in that case, it is the golems. All right. Move. Uh, he will. So I can just command him. Yep. I tell him, okay, my new command now that these guys are up is to kill the Mage King. Uh, it, you, he looks at you and says, uh, designated target name unknown. Oh, shit. <laughs> I point at him and say, kill that guy. Okay, he charges forward. <laughs> um, and he will do four damage to the Mage King. Great. Um, the Mage King looks at what have you done to my constructs? It's, it's d disgusting. <laughs> It's completely ruined. Uh, next up, we have Steve. Steve. Okay. Right. What's the plan, Steve? What we got here? <clears throat> um, it's worth noting that the solar flare, the soul flare, is still moving towards my stone, towards mm. the thorn people. And so, where he's standing. Here, there's like a lever or something, right? You yeah, yeah, a, right. a circular device. Oh, okay. Seems to be yeah. like controls of yeah. sorts. How far away is it? Uh, like from the, the, how far away is the sun thing from the city? Uh, it looks like it'll reach it in perhaps two turns worth of combat time. Oh no. We, we gotta send it back towards the tower. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sounds like a plan. Um, um alright. <clears throat> Just gonna. I'm just gonna run out the device, actually. Okay. One, two. It's about there. Right. Uh, yep. Oh, it's or same yeah, square. Yeah. As, nope. Yep. Uh, if you're moving to there, yep, that sounds good. And if you want, you can make a check to see if you can figure out how it works. Yep. You won't be able to turn it now because it seems to be fairly heavy, but. You can just hit it with that axe. I don't know if you want to break it when it's going yep. towards the city. I love, I love where your head's at. <laughs> Overwhelming success. Oh okay. my god! You, I work out how everything... <laughs> yeah, it, it makes sense. So the outer ring controls the intensity. The ring next to it is the sort of uh, rotate... Like, seems to be around the Earth's rotation. Yeah. Um, and the other one is, like, how fast it's traveling. And then the other, third one, like, rotates the, the other axis. So with that, you actually you have enough time to just shift it. You just sort of use magic to control yep. it as opposed to um, 
physical brute force and <coughs> shift it and head it, have it head towards the tower that you're standing in now, assuming that's what you're wanting to do? Yes. Yeah, I guess so. Uh... Okay. There is a, there's a top on the tower, so it's not like you're going to be... Yeah. Um, Could you turn the intensity enough. all the way to 11? <laughs> and It seems to be in full of intensity at the moment. Uh, okay. so. Is it my turn? Uh, it is Len's turn, okay. yes. Um, I now realise I don't really know how to use the giant axe I've been dragging around. <laughs> Just like um, the weight of <laughs> I'm, I'm very good with my blades. i got a couple blades. Uh, this axe seems a little unwieldy. Now so is I'm the gonna, perfect time to smash I'm the gonna, thing with with the axe, so it can't be its its course can't be corrected. I'm just going to drop the axe for now. It's going to drop for all that. It's going to drop it. Um, I'm going to use uh, acceleration. Okay. Which so you gain I, shield and movement. I gain too. shield and movement. Um, I my movement becomes almost blur like. Uh, and I'm going to move a little closer to. So you're not right by the edge. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not right by the edge. I've got a little, little bit of a buffer. Okay. So now it is Misha's turn. <clears throat> um, she steps forward and says, "You fools! The Mage King is trying to save us. He's not trying to oh, destroy no. us." Um, she pulls out an orb that looks like a. Uh, inverted version of the orbs that she gave you and crushes it and both of your lost wait did you use up your lost star crucible i used it oh you used it i didn't crush it though. you didn't crush it okay both of them explode oh no um so you both take four damage as the orb explodes in your <laughs> your backpacks oh, how your I it. Now we have been betrayed <laughs> and you're both blinded so you treat everything as having fade uh, oh, shit. Next Which, how much damage uh, uh four damage uh, you've got what was it? Oh, goodness. Okay, so you you have fade as well now, so you can't Ooh. be targeted. Oh, I triggered. Do I ignore the rest of the damage? You do from yes. the attack. Oh, yeah. I have triggered my ability, which is um, Michelin. Can you expand on what you just said? <laughs> <laughs> you are trying to kill the Mage King. He's the one trying to save this world. Yeah, but is he? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you heard him. He's burning people's he's, flesh. He's kind of burning all the, of the mortal races. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's he's told me before he keeps the souls intact. <clears throat> right. Okay. So you'd happily let yourself be burned. So you're brainwashed. Got it. Yeah. You're going down, Michonne. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Michonne. <laughs> Michonne. <laughs> Mich. 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 All right. Michonne's so I'm from... I'm flipping a coin, <laughs> and uh, if it's uh, if it's heads, I can play the top card in my deck. Okay. Tails. Oh no. Well, you could flip it with your fate oh, breaker. Oh yes, I could. Uh, yeah, I can, and then it's automatically heads. Depends on what this is. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay. And it is unstable, <laughs> unstable anarchy. Flip three coins. <laughs> More coins. <laughs> For each heads, deal one damage to a foe in range one. But each tails, deal three damage to a foe in range one. And one damage to myself. Okay. So flip. Heads. One damage. One damage. Tails. Three damage, one to me. Are you doing it to the Mage King as opposed to oh. Mish? Oh yeah, of course, Mage King. Well, it's in one range of me, right? Oh, right, right, so Mish yeah. wouldn't take the damage anyway. Okay. Uh, hedge. Okay, so that was one damage, was it? Yep. Okay. Um, that was alright. He has activated stone form. <clears throat> so he deals three damage to you as um, the earth itself seems to surround him. And he will resist up to two damage from the attack. So, well, although that was the last of the damage. So, he gains the status. He resists two damage. At the end of his turn, he discards it. I'm, uh, really Katara is not in really good shape right now. Oh, jeez. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Katara's on one life. <laughs> okay. I sink down to my knees um, and go, oh, oh, not again. <laughs> can I just pass him a random scroll I've been carrying? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> It is now uh, the Mage King's turn. It took a lot of damage. Ooh, That's geez. what happened. Um, let's see what he does. Acid spray. <laughs> <laughs> Deal three damage to up to three foes. Uh, <laughs> Just... One gains the status. So he's going to give 
Uh, oh, actually, he can't target you, can he? No. So I'm afraid that yep. you go unconscious. <clears throat> oh. You take three damage, and you gain this status, which means you take two extra damage from attacks. Okay. Um, now, I mitigate a damage from my mirror cloak, right? No, oh, you reflect damage. So, so he I... takes he takes one damage. Right. So, I, But I only take two, or... or... I used, you still oh, no, that's damage. right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I am... Does this replace my nice enchantment? No, it's just no. a status. status. Got it. Yep. Okay, uh, and the Mage King will take a step... Wait, that's not him, that's the same. We'll take a step back. Um, he also damages the golem, which one of its one of its fingers just gets blown off ah, with acid and melted away. That's not nice. It is, oh, actually, uh, no, wait, that wasn't even my turn. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it, it is now Patar's turn. It's the golem's turn. Uh, yeah. So he uh, moves towards the uh, mage king and will attempt to <clears throat> do four damage to him. Okay, make make a check to see if you're able to recover. Oh. Fumble. Okay, you lose one of your life cards. Give it to me. Um, Bleeding out. He's lost a maximum life. Okay, uh, next up, it's Steve's turn. Come on, Steve. Do something good. Is there good. any way to, like, res someone? If you get a good success, you can do it, and these other guys can do a skill check on you to try and bring you back up. Okay. I'm gonna... Which you could, so you could move over to him and try and patch him up and slap him awake a bit. If you would like... Oh, you could turn I didn't even it. get a chance to like use this health potion. Like I died so quickly. Right. <laughs> mm. But you will be able to do that if you get back up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a move over to him. Try and revive him. Okay. I don't have an utter failure or my death might leak into you. <laughs> you can always be a minion. Good. Good. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Good luck. Excellent attempt. Mm -hmm. You are back up with three hit points. And the mage king instantly damaged me for four. Well, it is now Len's turn. Oh, so. don't worry, guys. <laughs> mm. Mm. So if I'm gaining life, like because of this, mm -hmm. because of this, I should like reshuffle this whole thing, right? Like. Uh, you I don't, you don't, you don't get a triggered life card back. back. Oh, okay. So you just you basically lost that for the battle. Yeah. Unless you have something that specifically returns that card. Um, I am going to uh, move towards the middle of the tower mm -hmm. and use jump gate to create a tile effect that I can teleport to later if I need to. Okay. And that is the end of my turn. You'll, okay. you'll have three momentum now. Yes. Bye. Okay, it is now Misha's turn, and she is going to move forward, and she's going to strike at the golem, dealing three damage to it. Um, and she says, I'm sorry it came to this. Uh, it was good fighting alongside you, but I can't let you do what you're doing. Um, um, I reply, you suck. You're a mad bitch. Oh God! You're a you're a mean, yeah, mean she is. person. <laughs> um, it is now the Mage King's turn. He casts Living Flame. Uh, so he takes his Living Flame <clears throat> card and three shield cards, and he'll place them over the battlefield. Oh boy! One of them will explode for massive damage if yep. you step on it. The others are just decoy runes. Oh shit! Um, this is one here, one here, one here, and one here. Oh my god. Um, so they're now surrounded by runes on the ground. You're all surrounded by runes on the ground that could explode. Cool. Stepped upon. It is now Pitar's turn. I assume you're going to use your healing potion at the Ooh, start of your turn. We shall see. Uh, yes, I will. I'll use my heal potion to heal myself for three. Okay. Yay, I'm on half life now. <laughs> That's good. Um, <clears throat> I, um, oh man, okay. Uh, which one is the, the girl? Uh, the one well in two oh, swords. Okay. Oh, so uh, they're all still like out of range of me. This is, what, what this what's is, this? Uh, this is it's my jump gate. It's a... Uh, runic circle that I can teleport to later if I need to. Okay, cool. And I can also detonate it for pretty big damage. All right, so that's that's fine then for me to stand on. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, hold on. Let me. Let, I'm just counting my health to see how much I've got left. Ah. Oh, I can actually heal myself back up to full life then. Okay. Um, and also gain three shields by doing that. You know, do that. Sounds like a good idea. With uh, life weave. Okay. Um, so. Uh, so I so I do that. Uh, heal yourself and. So this is that you eating your own fireball pill this time. Um, yeah, this is exactly it. This is <laughs> cool. eat, me eating my own fireball pill this time. Okay. So heal myself one, two, three, Enjoy the soup belly. four, and Let's just shuffle your just shuffle, shuffle your deck in. now that you're healed back to full. All right, and then you have three shields. Yep. Here you go. Um. Oh wait. Uh, hold on a minute. Am I reading that correctly? No. Uh, if after healing. Uh, you're not on full life. Deal three damage to a four in range one. If they are on full life, they gain shield. Okay. Oh no. no, no. Yeah. Back. Yeah. It's cool. Okay. After Patar. Oh, are you gonna move? Oh yeah, you moved to. Yeah, I had to. M oh, mm -hmm. actually, I did. I, I did move um, to there right. because I was. Okay, so you're standing on the jump gate as well now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It is now Steve's, Steve's turn. turn. All right. Steve, I just want to say I like your old world charm. <laughs> Rustic charm? Yeah. Thank you very much. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> You're a weird man, Lynn. Yeah. You're a weird man. Um, I'm gonna... This is all this battle banter. <laughs> uh, what are you guys die, talking want... about? If I die, I want him to know. <laughs> <laughs> can I, I think just kind of cut to like Shadow Fold? No, nah, Shadow Orb. Okay. So I'm just gonna blast... You remind me of a Santa Claus. Blast the mage. <laughs> okay. Four damage. He takes four damage. Oh, actually, he takes two damage because he's got the stone prison protecting him. Motherfucker. Oh, wait, no. Was that last? No, that was... It's already fallen off. Yeah. Okay, it's been discovered. So, yeah, so he takes full four damage. Um, he growls as you shoot him with necrotic energy. And says, Pity magics. You dare trifle with me, master of the arcane. Um, Len, that's okay. the turn. You got nothing oh, on uh, the ground, I have a question. Uh, that sun is now heading towards us. Yes. How many turns until it reaches us? Uh, it'll be end of next turn. Okay, but there is it'll like a round on this There thing. is, yes. Um... Okay. Okay. I'm gonna move into melee range of Michelin. This is me right here. And I'm gonna smack her with a murder. Oh, uh, my turn that happened, the golem. Oh, yes. Uh, maybe we should put a golem in the, uh, yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah. Sounds good. Because I keep getting. Um, so he's gonna do four damage to. Yep. The boss. Okay. Right. Perfect. Nothing triggered. Good. Um, I'm gonna hit her in the face with murder. Um, using my nightmare blade. Okay. I'm gonna push her off the edge. Oh, nice. <laughs> um. Eat edge of building, <laughs> Michelin. Like, is there any? Is there anything she can yeah. do to resist that? Like, yeah, she will get a check. Okay. So. Smack you for seven damage. She takes seven damage. Let's see if it procs anything. Okay. Seven. Um, and she is tossed off the edge, and you lose sight of her. Ha ha! Um, she disappears from your sight. I lift my arms up in victory and um, do a little dance. We haven't won yet. You know what? I feel like a winner. So there's a little uh, victories. <laughs> um, it is her turn, but she's out of combat for now, or forever. We'll find out. Um, it is now the Mage King's turn. He is going. Why, why did she help us with the golem? She could have just killed us, like while we were fighting those golems. I don't think she knew we wanted to kill the Mage King. Uh, he casts Blizzard on himself. He gains Shield fourteen. And uh, the status. Uh, what? Uh, Shield uh, 14. What? Um, the status can't be replaced at the end of the Mage King's turn. Deal two damage to all foes in range two. When he runs out of shield, it's discarded. Oh my god. 14. And uh, he is going to step forward onto this rune here. 
but it was just a dud, so it doesn't explode and damage you all. It is now round two Pitar's turn. Pitar, the giant sun thing must be near us. Yes. Just FYI. At the end of the round, it will end of this round of combat. The sun but will have reached what is this that? tower. What does that mean then? I think we gotta blow the roof off of this joint. Oh, of course, I can do that. But then won't we, you all be... Yeah, we, we can run down the stairs. Stop. We'll figure that out. I've got a... You know what? There's a giant frozen axe on the other side of the building. Okay, where's... where's what the, are you guys talking about? Where's the, <laughs> the stairs are here, right? You said... Or, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mish came up the stairs that are here. Um, hmm. How, uh, how sturdy is the roof? Uh, it looks like it's very solidly constructed. Is it wood or stone? It is stone. I, I, I don't hey, know. Hey, go for the go for the mage king. Yeah, but it's a good idea. Um, oh yeah, wait, can I draw a card? Yeah, okay, draw a card. Um, I am going to use. I actually can't use my blood find now because I'm not bleeding. <laughs> First time in your life. <laughs> I'm, I'm not used to this sensation. Uh, I'm going to use uh, anarchy, mm-hmm. and I will deal three damage to a foe in range two and flip a coin. Okay, I assume you're going to do it to the Mage King. Yep. Okay, he takes three damage. Um, well, he loses three shield. Yeah, I'm also... Uh, wait, does he... Uh... Oh, wait, everyone took two damage at, from his blizzard. Ow! Right. I um, and that. I take two extra damage from attacks. You do. But I reflect one damage. So he takes one damage, his shield disappears. So his blizzard is cutting you all to pieces as ice shards spin around him. Okay. Yeah, so that was uh, take three dam- deal three damage to a foreign range two, then flip a coin on heads, deal three damage to a foreign range one of you, on tails, you and all your allies in range one, heal for three. So we're so hoping it's for tails, kind of probably. Win, win, though, really. Yeah, yeah. Tails. Sweet, so you two both heal three life. Yay! So I shuffle this back in. Uh, no, no, you no. can't shuffle that back in. That's just on the scut to start part. The oh yeah, if you heal to fall, it is. Or on the yeah. Yeah. If you heal to fall, we shuffle. Mm-hmm. Huh? Does the gained health go on the top of the pile or the bottom? Top. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't make it easier to get your trigger cards. Boo. Um, and the golem is also recovered, so it's a little bit further. Right. And the death. golem is gonna continue over to him and smash him in the face. Okay, um, the mage king growls this is getting infuriating being attacked by my own construct i'll make you suffer for this should have made it better and then it wouldn't be uh, so easy to reprogram Ooh, burn! i'm going to enjoy murdering you no you Ooh, won't burn! <laughs> no you won't oh, snap! steve it's your turn <laughs> all right you have a mirror cloak I do have a mirror cloak. Uh, you could angle the sun <laughs> to hit the mage with the mirror cloak. Are you not enjoying this lack of corpses? <laughs> oh, you must see. Yeah, there's no... Uh, well, there might be a corpse way down the bottom. <laughs> you could look, take a look over. Um, um, I'm just going to... Blast old... Mage face with your with shadow, my, orb. With my shadow orb. Okay, one, two, three, four. You've almost removed his shield. Not quite. He's doing it. Um, he growls and says, "Is that the best you've got?" It's Lin's turn. Unless you're going to move. Nope. Okay. Uh, actually, mm. move here. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Yep, I am going to use my ultimate ability. Ooh. Singularity. Uh huh. Um, I'm going to pull him exactly where he's standing. Okay, so you're dropping the singularity on his location. On his location. Mm hmm. Um, and it says it pulls uh, all foes in range three of that tile towards it. And place the tile effect on that location. At the end of the caster's next turn, pull all foes in range three of this. Then deal six damage to all foes on this tile. If this is dealt, if this dealt damage to at least one foe, discard it. Okay. So next turn it'll deal a ton of damage. But right now there's just a swirling, massive black hole. Mm. 
um, sitting on top of this tower. Um, I'm also going to detonate my jump gate. Okay. Um, so my runes, my runic circle explodes outward and deals five damage to all foes in range one. You dissipate the blizzard with the force of the blast and he's rendered it is easier than the goal. defensive thing. <laughs> However, in doing so, oh, spoke you've so. activated it as Wildstorm. <laughs> Can I borrow your coin for a second? Oh no! <laughs> if it lands on heads, he'll push everyone in range two and deal damage to them. If it lands on tails, it'll pull everyone and he'll gain shield. It is heads, so you're all pushed backwards. Um, and he oh, is going to attempt to push you oh, off the edge. Oh no! Um, uh -oh. And he pushes you into this rune. Wait, that's that's him. Okay, no, talking. that's me. Oh, that is you? Yeah. yeah. He's pushing you into that rune. Uh -oh. It is the living flame. The living flame detonates. What does it do? Uh, deal six damage to combatants on this tile and discard that. Oh, I've got plenty of life. I can take that. Okay, and you also take two damage from being oh, pushed back. Shit. And you take two damage and you're pushed I back take two damage as well. Here. Oh, yep. Um, I take four damage, in fact. I triggered it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Three. So you get your second. Here's your coin four. back. <laughs> Um, I actually take four damage because of the acid spray, but he takes one damage, I'm assuming. Okay. Because of my yes. mirror cloak. Um, okay. And can and you make a bigger check to not fall to your death? <laughs> Good uh, luck. Fumble! You to watch as Lynn goes toppling over the edge. Um, you feel yourself... Just gravity just taking hold. You reach out and grab. If only had control. Fall over uh, gravity. She only had a giant axe. So <laughs> oh, what you oh to, no. What you, <laughs> never um, <laughs> if only my giant singularity worked on me. <laughs> um, you uh -oh. find yourself falling, but before you uh, reach terminal velocity, you someone grabs your hand um, and you are caught and you are hanging there held only by Mish. <laughs> as oh, she um, looks at you and as if she's like not even sure why she's doing mm -hmm. this and she says give me one good reason why I shouldn't drop you right now and we'll move to the Mage King's turn <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I need to flip a coin for my um, trigger thing okay. so uh, what is it I want uh, heads right heads nice you get to play the top card of your deck which is Oh, damn it. <laughs> um, if you can't play it, put it back on top of your deck. Uh, okay. When you're about to... Yeah, it's a, it's a trigger thing. Oh. When you're about to flip a coin, you may reveal this. So right, right. It's, nah, it goes back on top. Yeah. Sadly. But it is a very, very good card. Perfect. Okay. It is... So that was... The Mage King's turn? No, it wasn't the Mage King. That was Len's turn. Now mm. it's the Mage King's turn. That was just his trigger card. <laughs> it was a dramatic turn. Whew. And he is going wow. to use Chain Lightning. He does five damage to a foe in range three, then four damage to a different foe, then three damage to a third foe. Mm. So he's going to do five damage to the Golem, which oh, no! will knock it unconscious. Oh no! He is going to do four damage to you, uh, to you. Uh, Steve, the Necromancer, and Three damage to Pete Pitar. Oh, no, I triggered no. Blood Mist. Okay, so you've gained Fade, so you can't be targeted this turn. Yep. Okay. Um, he is then going to attempt to move out of the Singularity. Good luck. Um, and it is now back to the top of the round with Pitar. Alright. Uh, I probably need to heal myself because I'm low, almost dead again. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take one of my fire pills uh -huh. and heal myself for four. Okay. Um, yeah, heal, heal myself for four. After healing, you're not in full life, which I'm not. Deal three damage to four in range one. Okay, so you're so going to burn the damage to king. Him. Yep. Um, yeah, so I take the pill... I heal myself, and then I blast fire out of my <laughs> mouth at uh, at the Mage King. Beautiful. Um, okay, it is down. That is now Steve's up turn. To Steve's turn. Yeah, the golem is out of mm. action. It's gonna be Steve. 
Can I raise the golem? You can revive the golem. Oh. It'll probably be a better... <laughs> you can probably command it better than I did. <laughs> Alright, I'll use Dark Awakening to raise the golem. Okay. He has how much life? Um, Eight life. Yeah. Okay. How much life did the golem have before? Uh, he had 12 oh. life, <clears throat> I believe. Yeah. And I'll move up one just because... Yes, any more ledge pushing happens. Um, oh yeah, good idea. So that's my turn. Okay. And move the golem in one. Oh, Deal four damage, damage to him. Um, three damage. Three damage. Okay. It is the Mage King flinches as his own creation is turned against him once more. <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> uh, it is Len's turn. Mm. Uh, I'm I'm dangling right you're now. You're dangling. And she says, give me one good reason why I shouldn't drop you right now. Because I can get you back up as well. What's up? Oh, <laughs> and how do you intend to do that? I've built up five momentum. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's enough to carry us both back to the top of the tower. I it would be, yes. Uh, and I am lift. going to use my... Um, I'm going to use my acceleration to travel... On top of the Beige King. Okay. <laughs> right, and you're gonna bring her with I'll you? I'll bring her with me. Okay, so you teleport back up the tower. Yes. And appear beside him. Yes, and, and I... he says, what? I thought I killed you. And I'm like, psych. Um, I deal, in a blur of motion, I deal five damage to, oh. uh, I guess, the Beige King. I don't know uh, yep, is. yep. I've lost all of my momentum, and I'm assuming I've lost my acceleration. That was uh, No, you keep your acceleration. You can keep generating momentum. Sweet. So what's uh, <coughs> Mish gonna think Mish. about this? She, uh, she stands back. She just doesn't know what to do. She, um, she just like, nearly died, just, and if, then being teleported to the top of a tower. Um, by she, the person that that knocked her off, <laughs> man. She was really silly to catch me, you know? but I'm lucky. What a whirlwind of a day! Yeah. <laughs> um, it is the Mage King's turn, and he has got to reshuffle his skill. How curves. far is the sun? Uh, oh, the Mage King. The, the sun is now on top of the tower. Right. I forgot to mention that. So the tower is now surrounded by this burning, blazing oh, good light. Good thing he jumped up. Mm. Yep, um, and. The Mage King says, "You, what are you expecting oh, to at do? At the end of my yes. turn, my Singularity would have exploded as well. Yes, so that would pull the Mage King oh, man. and deal six damage to him. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. He activates uh, Etheric Jump, so he teleports to a tile in range three. So he's going to move back to here uh, after the Singularity is blown up. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he gains shield three. Um, so it's the shields, there we go. Okay, now I've got to find out where his cards have gone so I can figure out what he does this turn. Because he's done so many skills. Um, I've lost his skills. Where did they go? I'll just use those ones. Um, he uses. Let's see. Tempest. So he creates a, tile, a Tempest on a tile range one. You guys are familiar with this card. Uh, At the start and end of your turn, if you're in range one of this tile, you'll take damage. And he places right oh on no. top of all of you, except for... No, all of you will be damaged by that. Mm. Uh, it is up to the top of the round. It is Patar's turn. How's the roof looking? Uh, it is holding. It looks like it's actually being designed to protect this very tower from... <clears throat> so Sun. this whole area here is taking yes. damage, right? Yes, you'll take two damage at the start of your turn from the Tempest. So I take two damage no matter what right mm -hmm. now. Um, damn, Tempest. You scary. I could really I could really do some damage, but I'm going to... I don't want to take four damage. Um... Man. <laughs> Tough decisions. I, I, I. Um, You've already died once. What's one more time? <laughs> <laughs> like twice. All right, I'm gonna. 
I'm going to dash um, over here. Okay. So I'll take two damage for me starting in a Tempest. Oh. Just for a second. So yeah. Flip a coin. I shuffled it back in after I was on full life. Uh, wait, was that the first? Yeah. So I'll take two. All right, split second. Here we go. I want... Uh, what was it? Tails, right? No, heads. Tails. Oh, no. Okay. All right, and yeah, that's that's my move. Okay, uh, Steve. It's your move. Sorry. He's out of range of your golem at the moment. Your... So I take two damage? Yep. Two. I'm going to move over here. Okay. So he... In the tile adjacent to the Mage King, you're yep. on the edge of the tower, but it's probably fine. It's probably yeah, okay. It's a, it's a dangerous spot, but like the center of the t t tower is actually more dangerous now. Yeah, so I'm going to cast a Wisp. Okay. On the Mage's square. Okay. Um, so that's my turn. Okay. So and so he gets to move two squares. So oh, he moves too? Yeah, it says he moves Beautiful. twice. Yeah, so the golem charges at the mage king. Yep, and, and the whisper does as well. And yep. they lay on. So the they pain. both do three. One, two, three. So the mage king's map barrier breaks and he stumbles backwards. It's like, you're not going to destroy me. You're nothing. Um, it is Len's turn. Rick, you're wrong. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> awesome. Um. Ooh, I don't really have a whole lot I can do. Um, so I'm just gonna... You do have the momentum as well. I do. Spend. Can I spend the momentum to move and then move and then attack? Yep. Oh, well then I'll do that. I'm gonna spend one momentum to move, dealing one damage to nothing. Uh-huh. And then um, you're gonna move? And then I'm going to move. Okay. And I'm going to murder that for... Will deal. Uh, it's seven damage. And are you going to use the pushy? I am going to push. Okay. Off the building. So you slash at him and it just cuts through his robes, all his magical protection broken. <sighs> he screams and tips backwards and the beam of blazing light just incinerates him. And uh, there's nothing left of him. This, the, the scorching rays just completely erased him. His, even his skeleton just turns to ash. In the base. Well, Woo! that was a hard fight. I suggest we turn off the sun. Reckon you're right. <laughs> you run over <laughs> to the device and do you want to do the honors? Yeah, I'll. Um, I guess turn I'll the intensity to zero. Turn it down. Yeah. <laughs> easy there, lassie. Easy there. Um, the the sun the sun's energy sort of flickers and fades. Um, what's the plan now? Um, just, you can you can. Destroy it utterly. Well, well is it full it... of souls? Yeah. Well, I suggest <clears throat> one of us stay here and study it. Whoever's got the most intelligence, I the other ones go back. And I'll, I'll stay here. This is now my tower. Nice. <laughs> as, um, as first apprentice of the Mage King, <laughs> uh, I have inherited all of his belongings. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Mish. Wait. What's happening with the lady? <laughs> <laughs> Mish uh, just sits down. On the thing, seeing, seeing the Mage King incinerated, she sighs. What have I done? Ah, oh well, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> fast. <laughs> ah. well I, I hope you guys were right. I hope this was the right course of action. Uh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get get some sleep, and <sighs> we'll see what happens tomorrow, Detail. shall we? We'll see what happens tomorrow in, in life. Right? I don't know. I don't know. She, she looks pretty like, <laughs> upset that she just moved. The whole her, world has just shifted. Friend. Yeah. Yeah. So she wanders downstairs. <laughs> uh, you hear some screaming for a bit. And then she oh, comes no. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's no. orb. Sorry about that orb. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go down um, there. Let's climb down the side of the tower, shall <laughs> we? we? Oh, yeah. Um, we kind of attracted in this tower. <laughs> um, My tower you now. hop on the back of the golem. And climb your way down the tower. Do we ride off to the... Um, you see in the distance it looks like there is a group of thorns walking towards you. It looks like maybe even the, the thorn sire is, is with them. Um, no doubt to give you some medals or something. How, how did they know what happened? How heavy are these they medals? Saw the sun. Are they really heavy? 
Oh, right, of course. I love yes, heavy metals. Yes, very heavy metals. Yes! Are you still carrying um, your axe? Of you course. Pick it up? Yeah. I dropped it off the side of the building and went I down don't, after it. So I don't know if you would say that you guys saved the world, but you definitely removed a guy from the world. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd say, was, I'd call that was, a win. He was pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. Depending on your outlook, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. that's the thing. <laughs> But that's what this world is like, I guess. That's, that's the world shade, we now live in. Gray. High fives all around. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you. I also I gained a tower. That was, that was fun. Good. I hope the one in the star. I hope people had fun listening. Uh, you can rate us. We've got a Facebook page, facebook.com slash frenziecast. Tweet at us at frenziecast. Uh, you can email us frenziequestions at gmail.com. You can tell us what you thought of this. Uh, we can answer some questions about the game, Rory, if you want to answer some questions about the game, maybe. Sure, sure. Um, and we'll be back uh, either next week or the week after, at some point, with a normal episode yep. of Frenzy Gamer. It's, it's probably January by now. Yeah. So, Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Good, good work, everyone. Good all work, right. players. Huzzah and all that. Huzzah. <laughs> Goodbye. Your imagination or something. You're supposed yeah. to. You're... I mean, one you could have just run past it really fast. You could have smashed it with something. <laughs> Although they might have set the building in, on fire, depending on what happened. I guess you did try and smash it. Yeah. But you smashed it, tried to smash it with more fire, which I think was perhaps what the floor <laughs> in that plan. <sighs> For me, it was just kind of weird. Once we got to the mage, it was like, all right. No, we are. <laughs> We're gonna talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna this fight. Guy, this guy's probably evil, right? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I cannot believe we got so many overwhelming successes. Yeah. Room, like on the fake, fake death. Yeah, on the, the fake death. Like, I thought. I like. I thought that was it. it. I was <laughs> really just making it up. Well, like, clearly making it up. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure where the hell this is going. It was such a weird. Uh, <laughs> Plan? Like, <laughs> it wasn't really a plan. I was no, nothing. Like, we, we didn't really get much of an advantage from it, apart from a surprise attack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Finding out what the sun yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. Well, I suppose it was good. Yeah, to that, get that gave you the phone. thing of like, oh yeah, this guy is evil. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, like to just be like, okay, I'm gonna let myself be thrown off a cliff. <laughs> yes. that's, that's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. From your guys' point of view, it's just like. Like if you guys had just all died, <laughs> that would have been yeah. amazing. Yep. <laughs> Nick almost died. If he hadn't knocked that girl off oh, the same right. side oh, that... Died, yeah. yeah. I was like, how, 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 is there any way he could survive? Yeah. There's one way he could survive. He has to talk, talk this lady into not dropping him. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, yeah, good dude. Awesome. Yeah, I was by the end of it. I felt like pretty exhausted. Yeah, <laughs> just like uh, it's it's exciting. The Mage King. Every now and then, the Mage King is just like, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you. I, mean, what, I guess. What if we'd also gone down the bottom as well? And then... uh, I think you would have just burst. Like you would have caught flat into so fire like you because you put that orb down. There wasn't gonna be a downstairs, but I was like, well, if you're knocking the orb away, oh, right, yeah. it needs to go somewhere <laughs> that's not like blocking your path. Yeah, that's cool. Um. How many, like, modules did you uh, leave out of there? Like, well, there were going to be, like, you are going to fight small elementals and then you fight, like, the elemental lords. Oh, okay. But, like, which were the ones that had the forms that, yeah. like, changed forms. Oh, but you just went straight but to it. But I went straight to it just because of time. Right. Like, yeah, you're only going to have time for two fights.